tastes like chicken, including chicken, and uh, pan-galactic gargle blasters. You're out there, living on the edge of what's possible. The talented, the ambitious, the inspired. We're out there too, artists of vision, production, and technology alike. Drawn toward each other by a common passion, to share a moment with the world. At Ross, we live in live moments, no place else. For over 40 years, we've shared the thrill of creating the most important live productions on earth, yours, on screen. Together, we are living live. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, President and CEO of Ross Video, David Ross. Woo. Hello! <laughs> welcome to Ross Vegas. Thanks for coming here, and thanks to everybody watching our stream online. As usual, it's been a busy year, and we can't wait to tell you what we've been working on. With the help of our partner, LMG, again this year, we're living live with our own products to make this production happen. As you can see behind me, we have a new and massive 62-foot LED wall. The resolution is far beyond 4K, so to render every single pixel perfectly, we're driving it with an expression tessera. For the super low video delay on the screen, we're using Carbonite Mosaic, our image processor. Don't you hate it when there's a huge lag between the presenter and the screen? Super short processing delay. That's just part of what Carbonite Mosaic's about. We're also using Ross Ultrix routing, Carbonite production switchers, Acid cameras, Furio Robotics, Open Gear, Dashboard, and Inception behind the scenes. So if anything goes wrong, it's pretty much our fault. <laughs> and on the show floor this year, we have over $10 million worth of equipment to show every solution we can. I'd also like to introduce Terry Daly, part of the Ross team here tonight, who's running the show behind the scenes. He's single-handedly controlling all of our content and everything that's feeding the LED wall. Everybody say hi to Terry. Woo! <laughs> hey, Terry. Okay, Terry, you know, by the way, uh, there's, there's a lot riding on this, Terry, uh, so, so don't screw it up, okay? Okay, uh, just kidding. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. All right, you'll figure it out. Okay, during last year's keynote, we had a sense that 2018 was turning into a good year. But wow, it was fantastic. Let's run the graph. As you can see, we grew by almost 20% last year, 
That makes for 27 back-to-back -back years of record growth, something I'm pretty sure no other company in the industry can claim. So far this year, we're continuing to grow, and 2019 is shaping up to be our best year ever. So this year-over-year -year growth is really starting to add up. And uh, recently, somebody asked me whether we'd be harder to work with as we continue to get larger. And I don't think that the size of your company has anything to do with your customer focus. So the way I see it, the larger we get, the more resources we have to make for an even better customer experience. Because acting in our customer's best interest is at the very top of our code of ethics, and it's deeply embedded in, into our company DNA. Now, we wouldn't be having the success, though, without the support of our customers and business partners, and many of you are here tonight. Thank you for everything. My father used to remind me that a company is only people. So while they're endless heroes at Ross, I want to make special mention of someone who is hitting a major milestone in the industry this year. Nigel, there you are. <laughs> Nigel Spratling has just survived 50 years in our industry. <laughs> So for those of you who know Nigel, he's filled those 50 years with a diverse and impressive career, mastering both video and audio. In fact, you can truthfully say that Nigel even wrote the book on audio. <laughs> Nigel's been with Ross for almost nine years now, and he's been a big part of our Carbonite production switcher line success. Thank you, Nigel. Now, speaking of my father, many of you remember a video we showed of him last year when he was working for the CBC back in the 1950s. The early switcher he demonstrated then was just one of many engineering achievements that defined his career and reputation in the industry. Back in August of 2018, Simpty recognized him with a Presidential Proclamation Award for his pioneering work in the development of production switchers, chroma keying, signal processing, and analog and digital systems design. As my father would often say to others, good on you, Dad. My father, <laughs> yes. My father is still an active member of the board of directors of Ross Video, turning 84 this year. Given that he started work at the age of 14, yes, he did lie about his true age, that makes for 70 years in broadcast. Hey, Nigel, you have 20 more years to go. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> OK, let's move along from humans to robots. Hey, Furio, let's talk for a minute. Recently, you got a pretty impressive upgrade, didn't you? Mm. You're now stronger, you're faster and taller, right? Yeah. Hey, how tall can you go? Huh. I remember that, yeah, you can go way up there. Sophia, that's, that's pretty impressive, but can you go all the way up there? No. Oh, sorry, but not to worry, Furio. We've got you covered now. I'd like to introduce you to a new member of your family. Let's roll the video.
I am proud to announce our newest member of the Furio family, Furio Skydolly. One of the things we noticed about many ceiling mounted systems out there is they were noisy, full of rocking shots and vibrations, and quite frankly, they looked surprisingly dangerous to us. So Sky Dolly was engineered to address ceiling mount challenges. We gave it a robust, stable platform with a unique rail system to eliminate any risk of derailment. We spent considerable time and effort looking at cable management and coming up with a system that minimizes drag and noise. And it has an ultra compact footprint. Its new three wheeled design enables fast, smooth and repeatable moves while having the strength to support full size cameras, lenses and prompters. It's designed with tracking in mind for perfect virtual set and augmented reality applications. It's also quiet, just like this animation. We have one on the booth for those of you that want to take a closer look. We're also excited to announce our first customer, Next Radio TV in Paris. We'll be installing it this summer, and as always, it's an exciting time for Ross Robotics. Okay, let's keep things rolling. I'd like to invite our Chief Marketing Officer to the stage, Mr. Jeff Moore. Thank you, David. Hi, everyone. It is my pleasure to introduce Ross's NAB theme this year high-impact, high-efficiency production. Now, we chose this team because it's about results, and it gets us focused on the results that our clients are striving for and how we can help achieve their goals. Now, Ross, we have a ton of technology, all focused around live production, and that puts us in a unique position to innovate and bring something new to the table, making your productions better in some way, more compelling visually, more engaging for your audience, and make them easier to achieve, making your team more efficient. A great example of this is Voyager, Ross's new augmented reality system. Launching here at the show, Voyager is our next-gen hyper-realistic render engine for augmented reality and virtual set systems. It's based on Epic Games' Unreal 4 game engine. Voyager is truly high impact, delivering amazing results for your production. Now here's the best part, UX5, our control and tracking system for AR and VS. New at the show is a MOS workflow, finally making AR and VS efficient in news production environments. We've got a unified MOS plugin that unites Voyager and Expression together in workflow for news. Now, we've also added data integration with our data link server, our powerful data link tool. So these important work workflow efficiency features are really what sets Voyager apart from the competition. And these features are not found on other engines that use the Unreal 4 game engine. Now, that's high impact, high efficiency. But it's just one of a wide array on the booth this year. We have a whole host of incredible solutions for every conceivable production scenario. So here's another for legislatures. Our lightning control system at version six enables our ledge clients to cover meetings and assembly proceedings with a broadcast quality production super efficiently, even remotely with as little as a single operator. Or how about horse racing? Here's a unique control system that combines graphics, tote board data, replay, switching, and PTZ camera control, and it supports local, at the track production, or remote production, and makes producing horse races easy and compelling at the same time. So we can put together tailored solutions for houses of worship, where we've got volunteers helping control complex productions, and for corporations, where it's not uncommon for presenters like to me to be producing their own production and controlling it from a tablet. I'm gonna do that right now. So let's take a look. They've got a little tablet that they put together for me with three buttons on it. Make it nice and simple. So let's see what happens when I push button number one. It says blast one. Cool. Okay, let's try button number two. I like it. 
All right, so button number three controls the video clip that I'll leave you with. It shows a high impact, high efficiency solution that we put together with NBC Sports for Sunday Night Football. Let's have a look. When NBC decided to do virtual graphics on their show, they called up Ross and were able to provide the hardware, the software, and the trained personnel to operate on game day. Each season, we come up with new ways, new things uh, that, that we can do and integrate into this product, constantly trying to be innovative and help our customer be the coolest thing on TV. As we started seeing the, the speed that we needed to work in, started seeing what it is they wanted us to do and when they wanted us to do it, we started taking a deeper dive into the system and what we could do. We basically can set everything up in every, every way imaginable and be able to get to it pretty quickly within a few button pushes. In addition to using UX, we're using dashboard as a control mechanism to call up the correct scene objects and position them anywhere on and around the field. We are able to execute a high impact, high efficient production uh, on, on a top tier program like Sunday Night Football. This particular medium has become something that's very important to the show. It's a privilege for us to get to do that. Step by Ross 40 and make your move and dissolve anime. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Director of Global Sports and Live Entertainment, Kevin Cottom. Thank you, thank you very much. That was a great example of high impact, high efficiency production for network level broadcast. And thank you to NBC Sports for allowing us to share that footage with you. At Ross, we love sports for broadcast as well as sports venue production. Sports venues are getting larger and more innovative, taking advantage of the latest technology and adding massive amounts of LED displays to amp up the game day experience. And that's where Ross comes in. Ross has been involved with venue production for decades, and we've evolved with the industry. Let's take a brief look at Ross's history in venue production and how we've grown to become a leader in technology and workflow in the space. Years ago, years ago, on main LED displays, Ross used to hang out here, the program feed, created with traditional broadcast technology. Customers use our switchers, routers, servers, as well as our expression graphics engine for traditional CG. The rest of the graphics you see surrounding the program feed were not associated with the production control room and were typically generated from off-the-shelf hardware that output basic text and pre-rendered graphics. Many of our clients that began using our real-time expression engine realized its power and its potential for the rest of their production. And at Ross, we listened to our customers. We started developing a new feature, fe started developing new feature sets and workflows to produce content for LED displays that took the industry to the next level. So what's the difference? Let me show you. First of all, Expression Tessera can drive any display at any resolution with unlimited windowing. The display you see here today is over 7,000 pixels wide, and we're feeding it pixel accurately as a single canvas. This gives users the ability to play back content at a very high resolution without scaling and distorting the images. We have the ability to animate graphics in a virtual 3D environment. No more static content or dissolving text. We brought the LED to life. We can reskin graphics with the press of a button, like the team matchups you see here saving countless hours of pre-production time and expense. Now that's high efficiency. Real-time dynamic text allows you to engage fans instantly. Let me demonstrate. What's your name, sir? David. David, excited for NAB? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, great. That's right, connect with your fans quickly and easily. Yeah. <laughs> 
We, also, uh, we can also affect to hundreds of layouts with ease. We can change position and put graphics to the left. We can go video full. We can go back to center cut. All while still bringing network quality graphics and capabilities to the control room production. But, oh boy. But we still didn't stop there. Expression Tessera also gave users the tools to map and control content for all LED displays, like fascia, auxiliary, and exterior displays. Now users can change the appearance of an entire facility in an instant. We, can also create, we also create scoring and sponsorship content for concourse and suite feeds, like you see here. That's right, one graphics platform, one user interface for the entire venue production. Now there's a lot going on with all this LED. How can anyone possibly manage what graphic goes where and when? Well, you guessed it, dashboard. Our award-winning dashboard control system allows users to create custom panels like the ones you see here that are tailored to their unique production. It controls all Ross products and has unlimited third-party device integration. So it can trigger lighting. We can trigger audio. We even used it to trigger the water cannons at SunTrust Park in Atlanta. So you tie all this control to a single button. When that big moment happens, oh. Great throw, Brad. Great throw. All right, fade it out. All right. Our unified venue control solution integrates the control room production, LED display control, and total venue control, allowing users ultimate creativity and flexibility for their game day production. Since its inception, we've been busy having a lot of fun with teams and partners deploying these systems. The Edmonton Oilers and Florida State University were early adopters of our unified workflow. <clears throat> and over the past few years, teams around the world, like the Tottenham Hotspur, Baltimore Ravens, Atlanta Braves, Nashville Predators, LAFC, San Francisco, and the San Francisco Giants, and a host of others have deployed Ross Unified Solutions. As you can see, we've been busy. It's been an exciting time to say the least, and we're grateful to be working with so many innovative professionals in the sports industry. Now, I know most of you don't work in venue production, but this solution can make an impact on a variety of production environments, like concert touring, news studios, house of worship, and corporate productions, like this one here today. Another application is eSports. With over half a billion fans globally, pro gaming is the fastest growing sport in the world. And here in Las Vegas, just down the street at the Luxor Hotel, Allied HyperX eSports Arena deployed this solution to take their production to the next level. HyperX Arena is a 30,000 square foot multi-level facility that is game agnostic and designed to host every form of competitive gaming. And our own Greg Koo is on standby to give us a personal tour of the arena. Take it away, Greg. Yeah, so we're here at the beautiful HyperX Esports Arena. The folks here have given me the ability to give you a backstage tour of what they do here at the arena. The first display we're going to take a look at, driven by Expression Tessera, is this massive 5,632 pixel dome display. All right, let's go check out the rest of this place. <laughs> Now in here, this is their main arena area. They can host up to 90 players for any given event. <laughs> up on the stage here on the main displays, again, Expression Tessera, Carbonate Mosaic, doing all the processing for these main displays. <laughs> Now, up on the stage, they can have up to 12 player pods. Each player pod has its own designated key fill channel, as well as its own designated program. So we can treat these all independently, all or as one canvas. Now, right now, they have a Fortnite matchmaking tournament going on. So these six players are the best players in this tournament, while everybody else out there should be trying to beat their score and, and take their spot here on the stage. All right, let's go check out the control room. 
the guy went for a really cool trick, which unfortunately I'm able to really catch him. This is like now this is my favorite part of the arena. This here is the hype tunnel. All the LED displays in the arena can be controlled with dashboards. So we can do full stadium takeovers all from just a single click any dashboard in the facility. Right over here we're going to have the control room. Inside the control room we have Riley. Riley's working on all the expression graphics for the front of house or back of house. Here we have Austin. Austin's cutting the show again for the back of house as well as the streaming on his Carbonite uh, and uh, dashboard. The HyperX Esports Arena is constantly growing. Uh, they're actually going to be one of the first customers with the 12 channel Abacus Mira. Pretty awesome stuff. The HyperX Esports Arena is open to the public, so whether you're here for NAB or any time throughout the year, stop by and come check out some cool stuff they're doing. Send it back to you guys. All right. Thanks, Greg. And thanks. Oh. Big thanks to everyone at HyperX Arena for giving us access for the tour. As Greg mentioned, we have some updates to the Mirror Replay and Tria production servers with new 12-channel versions, added storage, and faster connectivity. We're branding them Mirror Plus and Tria Plus. Bigger, faster, more affordable. There's also updates to the Mirror and Tria Express line as well, including 1080p support and, lower, and a lower price point. Expression brings version 9 software to the show with a ton of upgrades, including, including enhanced support for 4K UHD, high dynamic range, and wide color gamut. Well, that's it for me. Enjoy Las Vegas. I hope to see you on the floor. And welcome back to the stage, our CEO, David Ross. Okay, right, thanks, Kevin. Your team's really been hitting it out of the park. Now, I'd like to talk about UHD. Over the past year, we've seen a huge jump in the number of customers, especially for sports stadiums, houses of worship, and live events moving to full 4K production. If you decide to go with 12 gig SDI for UHD, you'll find it to be a reliable, safe, inexpensive, and compatible solution that is very easily deployed. From what we see on the sales front, many customers tend to agree with this. It's an easy choice that's now widely supported across the industry. Behind me is a block diagram of a simple UHD solution from Ross. At the core of the solution is Ultrix, our UHD native routing family. That means that when you load it up with 12 gig native UHD signals, you don't sacrifice a single input or output like you would with older routers based on 1080p technology. When you need to use older quad link 2SI UHD signals, Ultrix can automatically convert those four cables into a single 12 gig cable on the output doing something called gearboxing. Even more amazing, if some of those 2SI signals drop out for some reason, the signal medic feature in the Ultrix kicks in, looks at the remaining signals and repairs the missing video live. This is a very cool patented feature. Of course, Ultrix is also your 12 gig audio mux demux, clean quiet switch, multi-viewer and more. I like to think of Ultrix as inputs, outputs and magic in between. Let's look at expression. Every new seventh generation expression, whether two are you or four are you, is UHD capable with a software key. A 12 gig native IO card is shipping and it's in use around the world. And new for version nine will be a full array of HDR tools that support UHD and HDR in high resolution 10 bit video. When we talk about UHD and expression, I have to smile because expression Tessera, of course, goes far, far beyond 4K, producing in resolutions up to over a billion pixels wide. So, you know, if you want billion pixel HDR, we've got it. Billion pixel wide color gamut, we can do it. So moving on. Over here, we have Abacus, Mira, Tria, and Replay servers. These boxes are now able to do three full channels in UHD. They currently output in Quadlink so that you can use them as 12 channels in 1080p. When you need them in the three channel UHD mode, Ultrix, Carbonite, and Acuity easily convert them to 12 gig 
using their handy gearboxing features. Again, let's look at big switchers now. Acuity continues to be our largest switcher when it comes to UHD with four MEs. You've also got the I.O. count to easily mix and match 12 gig quad link UHD or 1080p all in the same system. It also has all of the HDR, wide color gamut, input conversion and frame syncing that you'll ever need. From the infrastructure side now, our expanding line of UHD gear products includes DAs, test signal generations, frame syncs, bypass relays, downstream gears, and more. They're all processing at 12 gig, speed, 12 gig speeds, and there are even more 12 gig products on the way. Last but not least on this diagram is Carbonite Ultra. Given that it has Ultra in the product name, you should hope that it does Ultra HD, and of course it does. Carbonite Ultra didn't exist last NEB. We launched it last fall at IBC. So for a refresher on how amazing Carbonite Ultra is, let's play a short video. All right. <laughs> I love it. Carbonate Ultra is the biggest, most powerful 1080p production switcher ever squeezed into one RU. Seriously, have you ever seen a switcher that effectively has seven MEs in this size? The included frame syncs, format conversion, proc amps, color correctors, HDR converters, new high-end chroma keyers, and multi-viewers would normally take racks and racks of equipment. So don't let the small size fool you. Although it does look pretty big behind me, but, uh, but when, what about H UHD? When we launched Ultra, we said it would be a 1ME UHD switcher. Well, you know what they say. It's better to under-promise and over-deliver. Version 2.0 will make Carbonate Ultra an 18 input 2ME switcher with two new high power mini Mies, make it making it almost twice as powerful as we promised. You're looking at the biggest small UHD switcher in the world. <laughs> the price is amazing as well. If you buy two or more MEs for Ultra, you automatically get UHD operation and a ton of UHD conversion and processing capabilities. Now the fact that it has two MEs now makes it overdrive capable in UHD as well. That's really cool. So I'm really excited about where the switcher team is taking this incredible product. Okay, that's our brief update on UHD solutions. Now, just two years ago, on this very stage, we launched our all-in-one production system. Graphite stands alone because it brings high-end functionality, including a real hardware-based carbonate production switcher, real expression graphics, and the Rave audio mixer. Since its introduction, Graphite has enjoyed considerable success with our customers in applications like remote productions, local news, overdrive productions, fly packs, integration rooms. At the core of Graphite is a real switcher and real graphics. But the integrated audio 
has generated the most excitement with our customers. Who knew that a company named Ross Video would do such a great job in the audio? But it works out well. So the last few Graphite releases have been all about adding big new audio features. We've made our audio routing much more flexible. Our audio follow video features are now even more powerful. We've added new mono modes and new output assignments. And well, now routing and mixing are one thing. But at this NEB, we're adding a powerful new feature that was never even promised, equalization. This new feature, combined with everything that Graphite already does, makes it far less likely that you're ever going to have to need an external audio mixer in a Graphite production. That is a perfect example of a high efficiency, actually high impact and high efficiency solution. Of course, all of these extensive audio announcements, enhancements, are a free upgrade for Graphite customers. Stop by our booth to see just how powerful Graphite's audio processing has become. Okay, now let's move along to our VP of Production Workflow and Cloud Services, Sean Snyder. Thanks, David. Everyone having a good time tonight? Come on, you can do better than that. Everyone having a good time tonight? There we go. So Dave, Dave talked a lot about some great, cool new products, some new features. And in production workflow, we've got a lot of innovative products too. But what really makes them tick, what makes them high impact and high, effic high efficiency is how they come together to create powerful solutions. Let me show you what this looks like. Let's go on a little adventure into something I call Sean's world. Oh, this is going to be fun. Let me give you a little tour. Sean's world isn't just in my head. This is a typical sort of new studio. So you got your green screen, desk, monitor wall, good looking guy in the middle, you know, all that stuff. And earlier Jeff talked about the benefits of a MOS workflow in the newsroom environment for augmented reality and virtual productions. What this means is that you can use the same workflow to populate and recall this virtual, this augmented reality element in the same way you'd build a traditional lower third or over the shoulder graphic. You can even drive an entire virtual set from the same UI. Anyone can create these great looking production elements based on templates created by your graphics artists without ever leaving your newsroom system. And it all integrates with production automation so you can trigger them as part of your traditional rundown workflow like so. <laughs> Much better. If only that drink weren't augmented reality. The creative possibilities are endless. And Kevin spoke about Tessa and sports applications. And over the past year, we've adapted this technology, adding a complete MOS workflow, allowing you to drive all of your on-set monitors, like these ones behind me, using Expression Tessera. These workflow tools enable users to power complex, multi-region displays as easily as they build traditional insert graphics using those exact same workflows. This technology is already on the air in the number one broadcast market in the States and rolling out across many other top 10 markets right now. And virtual sets. You know, this stuff is pretty advanced technology. But you know what shouldn't be complex? Production playout. Bringing clips from editing to on air. The broadcast industry has been doing digital file-based video playback for over 20 years. And after all this time, there's something I can't quite understand. How is this still so complicated? And why does it still cost so much? It's just video. Well, we have a solution for that too. Introducing the Streamline News Video Suite. It's storage, asset management, and play out in one easy to use, cost effective solution. What does it do? Well, it ingests and plays video. I guess that's kind of important. But it also provides newsroom integrated workflows, such as placeholders, real time status, proxies, and thumbnails. 
but it also has a bunch of advanced features as well. Stuff that you generally only find in really high-end expensive solutions, like automatic channel ripple, native streaming from centralized storage to playout, extensive metadata management, and workflows designed to bring video from your NLE on air in an instant. But most importantly, it's easy to use. Like, really easy to use. It integrates seamlessly into our entire newsroom suite of products, is easily upgradable into full automation with OverDrive, and it won't break the bank. And a special shout out to our first Streamline News Video Suite customer, News Press and Gazette. Thanks for being an amazing partner on this journey, and we're super happy to have you on board. And to the many other customers that are rolling out the solution right now. So even though I've talked at length about these solutions being really built around news, you might be sitting there thinking, some of this applies to me too. And that's really true. Much of what I've covered today applies to so many other applications. Come talk to us. We'd love to sit down with you and explore how these solutions can help your team put on the best productions possible. Now, I haven't talked too much about OverDrive, our industry-leading automated production control system, or Inception, our innovative newsroom computer system much today. And over the past year, we've been busy. In fact, we've had major releases of both of these product lines with more new features than I could possibly ever cover in the time I've got. But if you want to see it, come by the booth, sit down, book a demo, and we'd love to explore these new features with you in depth. I have one Inception.cloud customer success story, though, I just have to share. Let's take a look. Sky is 30 this year, and Sky, we're going to bring at the races back in house and brand it Sky Sports Racing. There's over 700 meetings uh, every year uh, of UK racing. Uh, we also have racing from Dubai, Hong Kong, France, and some of the US. It's quite a lot of content that you have to cover. We literally had only six months left to, to the launch date. The launch date was not going to move. It was quite a daunting prospect back in June. Although the channels are very different, we could take a lot from Sky News and put it into racing. So that saved us a lot of time initially. We knew we had to put an NRCS system in. Ross provided a product, an inception, that, that made it really simple to spin it up in the cloud. We've done the traditional thing here. We'd have to talk about firewalls and get, get stuff out. Um, being cloud-based, it makes it much more available. And then we have the bonus of the um, planning tool. The planning tool is, is a very, very powerful beast, uh, and it really helps the production to organise their entire lives. And uh, that's been incredible. The, the training process of that was really simple. It's really intuitive to use. We're really looking forward to maintaining this partnership we've had with Ross. We really get great technical support, great training. That whole process has been a pleasure, to be honest. It's a real meeting of minds between Sky and Ross, and I think it's a very long and fruitful relationship. The products had to do what they did today well, and they did that. That, that, uh, that was a really amazing project. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and thanks to Sky for letting us uh, shoot that video. Um, over the last two years, I was on stage and we launched both our Inception.cloud and Streamline.cloud software as a service, newsroom, uh, and asset management product suites. And to be honest, they've actually blown away our expectations. But we kind of asked, we asked customers, why are you choosing the cloud? And obviously, we have our preconceived notions, but when you talk to them, they, they all say the same thing. It's about simplicity. Being a fully managed, maintained, and always up-to-date solution makes it easier. It reduces your lower upfront costs, which reduces your risk, and you can get on air in the fraction of the time that you would take in a traditional on-premise system. It's all built on top of Amazon Web Services technology and infrastructure for the highest level of reliability. Now that's high impact and high efficiency. Now before I go, I did want to share one final thing with you. Something we've been doing for a long time I think is truly awesome and something that we are particularly proud of. Did you know that Ross has an amazing educational program? We work with qualified colleges, universities, and even high schools all over the world to ensure that the next generation of storytellers 
live production and news teams learn on real world production equipment. Behind me, you'll see a small sampling of our academic partners, and we're delighted to be working with them to ensure the next generation of students, your future employees, graduate with a head start. That's all for me. Thanks, and have a great NAB. Back to you, Jeff. All right, thank you, Sean. That's quite a world you've got there, by the way. Now let's shift gears and talk about infrastructure for a minute. Uh, David mentioned Ultrix briefly, and many of you are already enjoying the benefits of Ultrix. This family has been an amazing success. It's a revolutionary connectivity solution combining routing, signal processing, and multi-viewing into one slick package. And Ultrix has changed industry expectations dramatically shrinking the footprint of traditional infrastructure. So as you can see in here behind me, this is a real example based on the Ultrix FR5 and how much equipment it replaces. So on your left, this is the old way of doing it, using traditional equipment. And on your right, we've got an equivalent system based on the Ultrix FR5. All of this collapses into one Ultrix FR5 system. So it can literally save a ton of rack space, power and cooling. So check this out. In our one equipment rack that we've got here, we've even got leftover rack space. And I'll bet you're wondering, okay, what do I do with that? Well, we've got some suggestions for you. Check this out. Okay. The beer fridge is my favorite. Right up thought there. Okay, so we're always making Ultrix better, and I'd like to show you our latest Ultrix video and see if you can spot what's new for the show this year. Let's have a look. Did you notice that? New for the show, the Ultrix FR5 now goes to 160 by 160. Yes, we lit up that extra top slot in the chassis that now gives us 160 squared video, 3456 squared audio, 160 clean switches, up to 27 multi-viewers, 160 frame synchronizers, and 160 each multiplexers and demultiplexers for audio. It's incredible. Even better, current customers can simply buy more I.O. and upgrade their FR5 systems. So also new for NAB on Ultrix, the Ultrix Multi-Viewer Control Panel application. So this is an app for our new 2RU Ultra Touch Control Panel that makes it super easy to choose a multi-view layout, select sources, and configure your multi-viewer for Ultrix. We've also added SNMP monitoring and alarms. And there's a new configuration wizard to make it much, much easier and faster to get Ultrix up and running. Then there's the UltraCool intelligent cooling system. This is a great add-on for flight pack environments. System integrators in the audience, as you can see, we've listened to your feedback. You're welcome. So, last year, we pre-announced that we were working on the Ultrix IP Blade. 
clearly positioning Altrix as a transitional platform for IP. It brings together the best of both worlds, the most advanced SDI processing router along with IP connectivity. Well, our engineers have been hard at work and I'm pleased to announce a feature set and a ship date for Ultrix IP. Here it is. Each slot has four 25 gigabit ethernet ports supporting SMPTE 2110, Dash 10 system timing and definitions, Dash 20 uncompressed HD and 4K UHD video formats. All the popular formats are covered. Dash 21 narrow sender and wide receiver, very important for IP. Dash 30 PCM digital audio with up to 16 audio channels per stream and SMPTE 2022-7 seamless protection switching of all stream types. All the benefits of Ultrix that you know and love now available in IP. The audio fabric, the frame syncs, the multi-viewing, and more. Okay, now it's incredible, right? Yeah! Now all this is great, but we're missing something really important. So how about a control system to manage the IP side of things? That's one of the key components, right, in IP, is the control environment. Well, we've already got UltraCore, Ultrix's control system. So we took a look, say, okay, what do we need to do to get this ready for IP? So the first thing was to scale it up to control larger environments. Well, that is now done. Tonight, we launch UltraCore BCS, short for UltraCore Broadcast Control System. It allows us to scale up to the largest sizes, getting us ready for large routing environments. Okay, so that's great. Scale is a good start, but what about the IP side of things? Well, we've got something for that too. UltraCore IP, an add-on license for UltraCore BCS that makes UltraCore an IP routing control system. It supports NMOS, discovery and registration, and handles IP connection management. So here it is, the Ultrix IP solution, the Ultrix IP blade, UltraCore BCS, and UltraCore IP. We'll be shipping to our first customers this July. So we're excited about that. Uh, so what does all this mean? It means that we can actually start talking to you about full SMPTE 2110 IP systems, like this one in here behind me, end-to-end -end 2110 IP solutions from Ross. So, whether you're looking at SDI or IP environments, or an evolutionary path forward, Ross is there for you. And I hope you'll drop by the booth and have a look. Okay, so tonight, I get a one more thing moment. How about a surprise acquisition announcement? Would you like to hear one? Yeah? All right. Anyone in the audience think they know what it is I'm about to announce? No? <laughs> I think David knows. Okay, here we go. I would like to formally announce that Ross Video has acquired Portalis. And as a result, we have a new office in Salt Lake City, Utah. We acquired this team because they have pioneered a new kind of much needed solution that solves a major problem in control rooms and command and control environments. Increasingly, we have more and more computers with keyboards, video monitors, mice, and KVM switches in these environments. And it can be hard to see what's going on and take control of the right thing, the right system, when you need to. And this can especially be a challenging, of course, in live environments. Well, imagine if you could put a group of computers on a single, dual screen, single or dual screen desktop with independently sizable live windows see exactly what's going on like a multi-viewer and take control immediately on the fly as needed, well that's exactly what we have and the product is called ProXI. Thank you. <laughs> ProXI, yeah, it's crazy. It allows you to connect up to eight computers directly and control them from a single super desktop or another option is to connect ProXI like this and supercharge your existing KVM system. Okay, so we've got real systems on the booth 
for demo and uh, real production scenarios, and I hope you'll drop by and have a look at them and see how they can empower your staff and make things more efficient with ProXI. Well, that's it for me. Back to David Ross. Thanks, Jeff. I think that's the first time that someone other than me announced that we bought a company. That's delegation for you. Okay. Thank you. Speaking of buying companies, we made another announcement this past week that was a big surprise to many, but also made a lot of sense. Helping our customers tell better stories using cutting edge motion graphics is at our core. So I'm super excited about our acquisition of Piero. Let's roll the video. For broadcasters and service providers, having access to tools that can support the creation of richer sports content is key to attracting and retaining viewers. Analysis is a very difficult game, and the hardest thing is to be able to articulate to your audience what you want them to understand in a, in a clear and concise way, and Piero helps us achieve that challenge by visually making it easy to understand, but also highlighting things that audiences really want to understand. Piero delivers a wide range of effects that enable producers, presenters, and commentators to analyze incidents on the sports field. Effects are adapted to the stadium dimensions, which allow for a more accurate graphic representation. Our graphics can educate viewers on the rules of lesser known sports, providing a more engaging game experience and ultimately expanding audiences. It's um, vital in our analysis. It's the tool that our talent use and rely on in helping to visualize a point, a story to the viewer at home. Piero's ability to integrate with other third party products helps us tell the story in a much more enriched, complete way. The solution is easy to deploy and use. A fast turnaround of clips guarantees superb on-air results during time-constrained productions. We work closely with our customers to constantly improve the quality of Piero and increase its capabilities. Piero graphics also present an additional sponsoring opportunity for broadcasters. The effects can be customized to reflect brand attributes and increase brand visibility on the field. The Piero team are a pleasure to work with. The important thing is they understand editorially what we're trying to do. As a trusted partner, we will expect them to be alongside us as we develop uh, and push forward on things around 4K, um, on things around augmented reality, but also on our standard match coverage as well and, and looking to utilize new innovations that they're also working on to bring it into our coverage. All right. Wow. So sports analysis graphics is a perfect companion to everything we already do in the world of expression motion graphics, Voyager augmented reality, and our whole line of virtual set and augmented reality products. Piero is a fantastic tool for helping broadcasters explain sports and showing what just happened in new and fascinating ways. It turns out that Piero is so good at showing what just happened that the teams and athletes themselves are also using it during practices as a coaching tool. Broadcasters, venues, and teams are already our customers, and we're thrilled to be able to take this legendary tool much more broadly around the world as a unified Ross solution. And one of the fun things about this product is it's easy to explain to friends what it does because billions of people around the world have already seen it in use. So speaking of uh, things to get hyped up about, I'm delighted to announce that Service TV, owned by Red Bull Media House, is equipping their new studios and galleries with the latest Ross solutions. That includes Carbonite, Expression, Tessera, Furio, Inception, Tria News, Streamline, and Overdrive. That's a customer I like. That's more Ross equipment than we have here at the keynote. So it's great that Red Bull Media House is now a major customer of Ross, given that Ross and our trade show staff 
have definitely been a customer of Red Bulls for years. <laughs> Coinciding with the deal with Red Bull Media House, we hmm, somehow ended up with an extremely large number of blue and silver cans. We thought it would be fun to celebrate the deal and share some of them with you at our reception with some straight Red Bull and a Red Bull-based alcoholic beverage. So as usual, for our signature drinks after our keynote, Drink more than one tonight at your peril. Oh, and socks. In the past, we've given away free socks at the reception. This year, we're handing out Socks 2.0. <laughs> New for NAB, and I hope you like them. <laughs> now, as you might expect, there's a lot of things we haven't talked about tonight that are very new. Please feel free to visit our booth for a deeper look. And that completes our show. So thank you very much for coming and watching our live stream. All right. If you're here, <laughs> if you're here live and in person, the doors for the reception are over there. Please stick around, enjoy some food, refreshments, and great conversation with friends. Good night. <laughs>